McClure, McClure, McClure Beach? So this is Mockler Beach. I hope she's actually here. Mockler? All right, Mockler Beach. I was like, how do you say that again? All right, let's take a look around, see if I can find any of these treasure chests. The music here is really, re really weird. It's like a, it's like a, a mixture of Assault's music, which is like all like, do 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 do. And then like actual like th world music which is like duh 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 It's like I don't know pretty weird <gasps> A cat's chest that I probably can't open Oh man thank god I am literally like oh no I can make it I thought I was off Shiba Inu tail Okay cool Yeah I'm like really um behind on all that stuff but I've, I've heard that it'll become easier later on to get more so I'm not too worried about it um, I can't even see it where is it all right can I get someone that can actually work with it there it is all right can I really not see it on anyone else or am I blind I can see it on her. It's just not there. Oh, it is there. It's just very, very small. Alright. Cool. Alright, what else do we have? Get that. Get that coral branch. Is there anything else back here? Let's take a look. Red Verbena. Alright, cool. Looks like those guys are going to be chasing me even with the Holy Bottle. I think. You know, let's... I kind of want to see what level they are or something. Let's at least try. Alright, fine. Don't get careless. 28? Oh man, they're like right on me. Um, I also have a new um hidden art. I think it's called Slag Assault. It might not be new. I think I did get it on screen. But I put it on and it's been pretty good. It's been pretty good. It's that, that move right there. Pretty good. I wish I had power like that. I'd forget about it. Alright. This grimoire who we're searching for is a Moloch like Bienfu, right? To be honest. I don't see how someone so different can be a Moloch just the same as Luffy said or Aizen. I understand your doubts. It's quite the tangly mess. I'll tell you anything! In that case, I've been wondering, what's underneath your hat? Oh no! Anything but that! So, we've hit a wall already. But that ribbon flaps around and gets in the way, right? Could I take it off for you? No! No! That's not possible! You mustn't remove the ribbon! Why not? That's another thing I can't say! It's all cans with you. Alright, is there anything you can tell me? I could talk about what type of Malakim we are, or our position in the world of Malakim, or our abilities. Oh, I'd like to know all that. Then I will tell you! Listen closely! We Norman are a well-established race of Malakim. Compared to other Malakim, we aren't as adept at manipulating natural forces, but we excel at drawing out and heightening the abilities of others. Think of them as a convenient power-up. They're also known as common spirits. Don't even say that! We Norman hate being called that! Why is it so painful for you? Because it makes people think we're average and unremarkable! That's why we work so hard to show how we're all different! That does explain your quirky speaking mannerisms. Don't sweat it. That's a perfectly common thing to worry about. <laughs> Don't say that! Poor Bien Fu. But at least the, the names are the same. I was wondering if they were still going to be called Normans or change to something else. But it seems they are basically the same thing and they have the same powers, you know, they power up other people to give them stronger buffs and stuff. So pretty much the exact same as Asteria. What 
are those penguins doing? Probably keeping their eggs warm? Most likely. They look like a mama and a papa. Penguins are monogamous, faithful creatures. They never leave their mate. <sighs> Isn't that romantic? So they lay eggs because they're like husband and wife. But... How do they make the eggs? Huh? That's... well... So, Laffy said, here's an interesting fact. A single penguin egg actually contains dozens of smaller orange eggs. Oh, so their eggs must be small and crunchy. Yep, they have the texture of caviar and the rich flavor of sea urchins. Interesting. So they're more like fish than birds. So you've eaten them. How cruel. Look how much they care about their young. While it may be a bit cruel, they taste amazing. They're considered a delicacy in some circles. Top a bowl of rice with these crunchy eggs and some rich penguin thigh meat, and you get a dish called Family Fricassee. That's a horrific name. I wasn't the one who named it, okay? Those eggs look tasty, but I think I'll pass. So Eleanor confirmed destroying the lives of, of a family of birds? Penguins? I don't know, they're weird. I was actually kind of surprised. I was like, man, Eleanor, you're seriously, like, eating birds. I mean, bird eggs. I guess we all do that, but, like, I don't know. It was, I was like... I didn't think she'd be going and talking about it in front of Lafacet. Like, yeah, I, I've eaten those. <laughs> they're great. <laughs> but whatever. Get Poison Ward all the way up here. Man, we can... We can see some stuff. It's quite a view. All the way up here. Alone. Majestic. Okay. Let's keep going. You guys keep doing your thing. I'm gonna leave you. Don't die to all these snake ladies. Oh my god. Alright, Nagas. Well, that ain't good. This is not good at all. Here we go. Let's get this in. That's better. So I guess Holy Bottle is not going to be very helpful here. Because they were just like, eh, nope, sorry, we're still going to go after you. So, maybe I need to grind a little bit more. Oh well. If I need to fight a few dudes, that's fine. This fight is over. Featherlight steps and uh, another Featherlight steps. Woohoo. Alright, so new shoes. Cool. Do they need shoes? I don't even know. I know I just gave them cast heals. Her ribbon's done, so we can put on... This one, I guess. She's almost done with that. Yeah, I think we all have new boots. So we don't have to worry about it. Cool stuff. Alright, looks like we have a code red monster here, which will be loads of fun. But what else is here? Oh, that's a demon. That's a super demon. Is that... Grimoire? <sighs> She's moving away! Hey there, how you doing? Just wanted to, uh, like, hang out, go talk to Amalek. Maybe I should turn those off. Because uh, I can see how that cuts off the dialogue a little bit. So maybe after this battle, I'll turn that off. How did I lose my thing already?
Oh, don't know if I've seen that one before. I've never played Zlafa said before, but we're gonna try. <laughs> Go in, little boy! Oh man. Oh, Eleanor is eating a lot of shit. Alright, try back in. <laughs> Job, Bison. We're getting there. It's just a it's a long road. Oh, Eleanor is super dead. So uh, let me let me bring her back up. <laughs> Sorry, Eleanor. All right, you need to stop defending. Did he just start? Did he just use flash step? Oh yeah, I remember being like, oh yeah. I was like, flash step? Didn't know we were in bleach. I remember talking about that though. Get a little heaven's claw. There we go, boy. More. More hand. More blowing up. We're at 80 hits. Oh, come on! We had it going! God damn it. Should have did a hand. Oh, well. We were doing really good. I was like, oh man, maybe we'll reach 100. There we go. It's not bad. Everyone's leveling up. Get a bunch of stuff. Gliding blast, dragon dive, dragon dive. Ooh. <laughs> cool. That's like a friggin' uh, Legendia move. Blade Tempest, cool. We learned a bunch of stuff. Oh, we finished that sword. I should probably equip her with something else. Cool. Terrestrial Glass Sight. Grants a random skill that creates an advantage against Amorphous. Apatis. Those guys. Cool. Break Soul Dragon Dive. Hold R2 with three or more souls while Ariel during dra Draconic Drive to activate. Oh. Cool. Strikes away. Same thing. So she's the same sort of Moloch as Bienfu? You're Grimoire, right? <sighs> We've been looking for you. We need your help. <sighs> Who are you? I'm Velvet. I know your witch friend. Oh. Grim, so wonderful to see you. It's been forever! Ah, you two. Still as outlandish a pair as ever, I see. How exactly do you know her? Witch training? She was an upperclassman. And? We found this fascinating ancient tome, and we were hoping you could read it for us. Goodness, Mogilu. You of all people joining a team? I didn't know you had it in you. Eh, that keep me entertained. Well, I don't need entertainment. Bien! Come on, Grim! Isn't there any way you can help us? It's not the kind of thing I do. Oh, what a shame. Things happen. Well, we tried, didn't we? Maybe you need some incentivizing do it I'm serious I bet you are <sighs> your eyes tell me you're dangerous trouble follows you like a hawk tails a rabbit and at my age trouble is something I'd rather avoid how old are you Ask me again, and you'll get a firework in the tush. Uh, my apologies. 
It appears we've wasted our time. A walk on the beach is never wasted, but sorry. <sighs> Well, how did you learn to read the ancient tongue? Are there books for studying it or something? My, my. Are you actually thinking of learning it on your own? Well, I love reading, and I want to learn more about history. Besides, we need what's in this book. You have passion, child. I'll give you that. Not to mention you want to be helpful to Velvet, don't you, kid? Yeah... My tuition isn't cheap, you know. You will teach me? No, I won't. But I admire your dedication enough to read it for you. Now where's this book? Here it is, ma'am! You needn't be so formal. Oh, uh, y yes, ma'am. Er, uh, not ma'am. Right. Let's see what we're looking at here. The language of ancient Avarost. <laughs> Had to be the hard one, of course. A lot of wear and tear, too. This'll take some time. We're in a hurry. That may well be, but this isn't the place for study. Let's move to someplace more comfortable. Hmm, you've redeemed yourself, young man. There's a village called Haria just a little ways away. That works. Thank you. Fine. Haria Village. Whatever gets the job done. Hey, calm down, Velvet. We're gonna get done. Aria. Thanks to Lafacet. Demon that Oscar and Teresa were talking about. I think it might be. We should remain on our guard. Yeah, probably. So apparently, there's a demon there, and we're gonna have to look out for. So that'll be fun. Get some money. Cool. Anything else here? It feels like I should be able to climb this, but I guess not. I mean, that is just where we came from. So, I thought Lafacet was going to end up learning the ancient language. I was like, hey, I guess he's going to learn it. And then she's like, nah, I'll just read it for you after, like, saying no. It's like, eh. You know what? I like you enough. I think I'll teach it to you. Or I think I'll read it for you. It's like, okay. You could have just done that from the start, but thank you. <laughs> but I guess seeing Lafacet would make her change her ways so that's nice for now though i'm gonna go and try kill this guy real quick like i'm talking i'm talking straight at straight at a straight at a where, what the fuck am i i don't know where i'm going with this <laughs> oh yeah i have a skit i'm not even paying attention grimoire the empyrean i apologize if i'm being rude but i have to ask you're not Amenoch the Empyrean, are you? Of course I'm not. What would even make you ask such a thing? A shop in Isolt was selling Amenoch figurines that looked just like you. Oh, that. I distinctly remember whispering to the shopkeeper in his sleep, telling him not to sell those things. You showing up in his dreams probably only convinced him you were the real deal! You should sue for his use of your likeness and get proper compensation from that shopkeeper! Forget it. It's no concern. Yeah, you're right. It's not like they'd ever sell anyway. Oh, you think a figurine of mine wouldn't sell? You got this whole somber ennui thing going on. A figurine needs to be cute, like me! Then how about I turn you into a product? Me? Really? Oh yes, I'll have you stuffed and mounted. But since it'd be a unique piece, I'd have to price it a bit higher. M mounted? No, no, count me out! Oh, you're no fun. Now, what was it we were talking about? Whether or not you are the Empyrean Amenoch. 
Ah, yes. That's right. I'm no Empyrean. I'm just a simple girl. Uh, it would be hard for anyone to worship an Empyrean like me, right? That's true. <clears throat> oh, uh, I mean, it just seems like you're the type who can see through anything, so... Perhaps an Empyrean seems less intimidating from a certain point of view. You're saying I'm scarier than an Empyrean? Not scarier, exactly. Just more of a savvy sort of woman. That's not a bad answer, but it won't get you out of the doghouse. Jeez, she's rough, but I like her. I like her a lot. We need more Norman. <laughs> more Norman story. More, more Normans in our uh, skits. I like her a lot, though. She's cool. She's very snippy, though. Alright, level 35. Oh, man, this might be tough. Oh, we're doing zero damage. Oh. I wonder if I can even do this right now. Oh, I, th I can maybe do this. I didn't think like a couple levels. Like it's like seven levels, I think. Well, between Velvet and the boss, it's five. Um, yeah, six and five, and like wow, I didn't think we we'd, we'd just be doing zero damage. So that's kind of shitty. Oh, ow, that hurt. I can, yeah, this is doable though, kind of. Just do some magic. <laughs> this could actually work out if I keep doing this. Yo, magic is really good for this, actually. Why don't I just keep doing this? I don't know what that does. Ow. More fire. More magic. This is insanely useful, actually. Like, I'm actually really surprised how useful this is. Not when he hits me, though. Please stop. I'm trying to live. <laughs> I never- Okay, here's the thing. I never play as a caster in Tales games, so this is really weird to me that I'm actually doing this. But I think I might have to switch out for right now. Because Lapis Head's getting kind of hurt, so... Let's bring in, bring in some Velvet. Get some kicks in. Do it, do it, do it. Oh man, Lapis said, why are you so good? Preserver's Glasslight provides the ability to trigger a random skill which decreases the final damage on hard mode or above. Okay, cool. Lapis said, you're so actually good. You have, uh, you have changed my ways on Tales games all of a sudden. <laughs> Bruh, I should play as a caster. I can just sit in the back and cast for a while. Don't have to worry about anything. Alright, so that was a little scary, but we got it done. Take a look at this. God, we are sucking at this. I knew this would be big. Empyrean Tablet. An artifact in unearthed from the Norman Archipelago. Tablet is inscribed with five crests and is thought to have belonged to a temple. Disciple of the Sail, Lubber class. Man, I love Lubber. Soma Volcano. 
fortune telling. There is so much going on right now. A volcanic island whose eruptions are triggered by the emotions of those who sail near it. Tales tell of its forest made entirely of gems near the heart of the island. Tales of Parts. Um, at least I believe that's Tales of Hearts. I'm trying to remember Soma. That's a really big tablet, dude. That crest. An artifact. Oh yeah, I've already read that. Yeah, we can see all the crests for um, all the different Empyreans. So uh, you can see the water and also the symbols. So that's cool. Because I am me. <laughs> On the lower left of the crest is Musafe. Period of fire. Amenoch. Ayanoa. Umesia. Inominat. Yeah. Which one is Inominat? Oh, it's the one on the upper right. Okay. Alright, cool. So we can see a Nomina, we can see all the different crests for each Empyrean. Cool. Alright, so we're gonna be going to Soma. Never mind. We need- we're literally- we're literally like a smidge, a little tiny smidge, away from, uh, level 7. So we're gonna have to wait on that, unfortunately. What's down here? Panacea bottle, don't really need it, just want it off my list, so there we go. Alright, so I guess we're gonna be heading to Haria Village now. Which... Apparently has a demon in it, and I feel like I'm underleveled, so I'm a little scared. But we're gonna go anyway. I'm crazy. Alright. That's Haria Village. To the inn, one and all. Alright. Any treasures around here? I know there's one treasure left. But I have no idea where it is. Oh, down here. Oh, you know what? It's probably up there. Oh, here we go. Quite a roundabout pathway. There we go. Garish pink shirt. All right, cool. Can I see it? So, we're all working on stuff, something right now, so... Oh no, she's done with the battle garment. So we can give her this, we can give her a calcite. We can give her a lot of stuff, honestly. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and give her this. Battle boots are done. We have a shit ton of battle boots and amber boots. Alright, I'll give you some amber boots to get that done quickly. There you go. Anyone else? I know we finished the shell shredder, so we need to start switching stuff. So we have the, um, floor blade. Demon's cleaver and the am am. Amphibole. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll just start with the, um, Floric Blade. So, working on that. All that. All that. Yeah, I guess we're all working on something. Okay. Cool. Well, let's actually enter the city now. Or, village. Be kind of weird to have a city all the way out here. Where am I going? Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> it was really hard to see, actually. Is there 
anything back here? No. It seemed like a little bit more open than I thought. Or, than it seemed. It seemed more open... Whatever. You know what I mean. I need a save. I'm, I'm bad. Alright, let's check what this place is all about. Hopefully I don't die. Oh, this doesn't look good at all. This just looks like an- oh, I got locked out. Or locked in. This does not look fun. Rumors in Haria Village. From what we heard in Isalt, demons are attacking villages, and more people are growing upset with the Abbey. So I hadn't expected things in Haria Village to be so laid back. They might be on their best behavior because you're accompanied by an exorcist. Huh. I didn't know you could see the world in more than just black and white. The Abbey wouldn't entrust my responsibilities to someone who couldn't see beyond the surface. I have seen many things in my work. I've beheld both the light and the darkness in the world of men. Hmm. Despite that, no, because of that, I won't turn away from the wrongs that I encounter. Moreover, I have faith. I believe there is good in all our souls. The darkness, huh? Yes, like you. You're awfully direct. I was expecting a little more from that skit, actually. I was like, wow. I was I thought Velvet was going to be like, oh, hey, what's up with that? <laughs> but, you know, she's not entirely wrong being a demon and all, but... I mean, does that really mean that you're just pure darkness? I don't know. I mean, I guess the people here seem fine. But I guess when I entered it, it seemed like, especially being locked in, I don't know, I'm not a fan of that. But it looks like everything's cool. I saw a cool thing. I want that. How do I get that? How am I in here? Appar okay, I can just go in I here. Oh, hi. Anymore. What's the matter? Everyone's sick of all these fruit flavored gels, right? Um, so... I made gels using the giant cacao beans only found here on this island. It gave them a nice bitter chocolate taste. But people complained that they weren't avant-garde enough. Ugh, chocolate-flavored gels, how prosaic, bah! This got me fuming! So I caught some Maiden Bonita fish you find around here, ground them up, and made some gels with them. You put fish... into chocolate gels? Well, people do braise meat with chocolate. Chocolate and fish may go surprisingly well together. Exactly! It was the discovery of a century! The Bonito Flakes crunchiness and the gel's gumminess made for an exquisitely bad combo, which made it interesting. So if you made an innovative new type of gel, why are you so angry? That's exactly my problem! I outdid myself! Now I need to make my gel's world debut as amazing as they are! So I thought up the ultimate plan. And that is? I'll put my Chocanito gels in toilets all over the world. I'll call it the Great Chocanito Toilet Gambit. No one will go to the bathroom without finding my gels. I think everyone will have a lot of fun. So, genius, right? <laughs> yeah, it's weird, but I think it's funny too. Right? Uh, I knew that kids would get it. Who's a kid? But all the adults in my village called it silly and lowbrow. They forbade me from selling my Chaconito gels at all. Isn't that just horrible? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Aw, oh, man. Things used to be so much better. Mom would make me dinner, and all I had to do was goo 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 ga, and everyone would smile and praise me. I don't want to become the kind of grown-up who can't find any fun in looking for gels in toilets. Hey man, you don't have to stop doing that kind of stuff just because you're growing up. I don't really agree with putting gels in toilets, honestly, but, you know, if you want to do it, do it. Don't be stopped. Don't, don't let the man stop you. But, I, I don't really understand why you would put them in toilets but you know whatever who am i to judge all right so what else can we do here do we have any um we have bracelets i want a bracelet and a doll level six cool 
Wizards Ventite. If the character has learned a der derivative of an active art, you can perform it by pressing and holding the Mystic Art button. Cool. Oh, look at all this crap. Well, I only need one of these. Oh, it's gonna cost money. <laughs> um, we have all that, so don't have to worry about that. Boots. Got boots. Alright, we're good. Wastrel. Okay. So we can't leave the village, apparently, because it's nighttime. It looks like. So I guess we'll head to the inn. Doesn't look like we have any- Actually, there are four treasure chests to find here, so I kind of want to look around. Fragment. Let me look around a little, little bit. Let me look around a little bit. See if I can find these treasure chests. They're waiting for me, I know it. I'm on the loose, I'm on the hunt. I'm on the loose. <laughs> Just ignore me. So we got one there. Let's check on the other far side. People hanging out, doing their thing. Got some red stuff. I love red stuff. Not blood, but like red. Like red and Oh, okay. Thought there was like an opening there. I was like, is there anything there? No. What are you doing here? You think I don't see you? You little crab bitch. All right. Anything else that I can find? Check back here. Nope. Nope. Alright. Well, I don't have to search like every nook and cranny. I'll try and find whatever, but if I don't find anything, it's no big deal. I see that thing. You think I don't see that thing? I see that thing. Money. I love money. There we go. And the last one, there's one more somewhere. I'll probably never find it. Never. Never, ever. Oh, well. Oh. Oh, I don't have enough. Don't have enough for that. Need 185. Do not have... Oh! There it is. How do I get there? Just go around. All right, I'm getting it. Can't just leave it. Cannot just leave it. Can't believe I saw that. Eh, that's a dark bottle. Oh, I guess it's far enough out. I thought it was like too covered in like the rocks and stuff, but I guess not. Did I just save? I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Man, I love this bed. Is this where we're staying? Yeah, man. Um, let's check the room real quick. Anything in here? Whole lot of nothing. Cool. By cool, I mean god damn it. We could use a place to- Yep. Just finished cleaning, in fact. Oh, sorry. You can help yourself to that room there.